How's it going everybody? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and we've got a fun one today. Went to the river this morning just to check things out, see if there are any major players in the bug world. Turns out there's one major player, case caddis everywhere, big, juicy, and the fish know what the deal is. So guess what we're going to tie today? A caddis pupa because even in your area, I bet you it's about that time to get ready. So grab your stuff and join us. All right, so in the vise today, we've got the A-Rex FW541. This is a size 10. And for the bead, got a dazzle brass bead from Hairline. And this is mottled brown, and I'm using a size 7 64ths of an inch. You could definitely go a little bigger, go to 1 8 even bigger if you have to. As you saw, those, those caddis are, are pretty big. I would say they were like size 8 or 10. So 10 it is. And I'm going to add about 10 reps of this non-lead .015 weighted wire here. Give that a cut in the front and use my scissor to round that edge over. Push it back with your thumbnail. Just want to eliminate that harsh edge. And especially here on the back side when we cut this. And that way we're not going to cut our thread as soon as we start to wrap this fly. So, now all I have to do is snug that into the back of that bead, and it's going nowhere. All right, let's get some thread started here. And today I've got some ADOT Vivis, and this is some brown. Really good thread, really strong, doesn't bulk up too much, and so it's a winner in my book. And now let's cover those uh, weighted wraps with some thread, and a couple passes here over it, and everything's going to be secured so not too crazy so far one thing we want to look at for these uh, caddis pupa nymphs that we're going to tie here is we're going to go down the bend a little bit more than normal and the reason being I just want to utilize a bunch of this hook when the, the caddis are, are moving around you know if they get dislodged out of their case and they're struggling to the next thing or whatever they're, they're moving from plant to rock they get dislodged all the time, and they're not always in this straight, uh, typical, traditional nymph hook style. Not that there's anything wrong with tying them in that style. I just I like to have options, and so curved hook it is. All right, so what I've got here is some Flash and Slinky, and this is bronze back. And so you can see there are some different browns in there, some black, and then some tiny tiny lateral scale looking flash and this is going to be somewhat uh, imitative of a case but it's just going to be on the top of our body and so it will look like you know any pupa that they might see in the water but it, even if there's not a, a bunch of bug activity at the time this is going to replicate what they've been seeing this whole time as far as these cased caddis and, you, you know, that flash especially is going to give a little glint of light, much like any stones or, or bright particles of sand that they've used to build that case. And so we're just going to give this bug everything we can to, to help us find what's going to trigger that fish. And if it's a memory of something they've eaten before, great. All right, so now I've got some wire. This is ultra wire, copper brown, and the size is brassy. I'm just going to get this tied in and wrap all the way back, making sure I get it all the way back to where my previous thread wraps were for tying in that flash and slinky. So now you can see we're getting a bit of a taper already in this underbody and that's fantastic. So now we've got the rib tied in, we've got our, our topper that's going to come over and for the body we're just going to dub this. But I want to leave room for a thorax region here behind the bead and I'm also going to add a collar, so keep that in mind as we go. Don't want to get too crowded up there in the front. Avoid that and the rest is easy. Alright, so I'm going to start dubbing a noodle here. And I've got some spawn semi-seal. 
and this is one of our newer colors and this is green jeans and when you see caddis pupa especially some of these that that we saw this morning they're they're big they're juicy don't be shy about having a big body on some of these you know caddis you can get by with on a mayfly you're going to want a slimmer body for the most part but on some of these caddis flies you can get by with a, a pretty chunky body and sometimes if it's too slim they'll, they'll pass right up on it all right so keeping in mind that thoracic region that we want to I want to keep clean for now. I'm just going to start working my way back down the hook shank here and touching wraps. Just getting a nice base and of course make sure you go all the way down. Won't take too much here but I need a little bit more to finish that pass on the way up. There we go. I'll get you there and then some. All right. And now just start wrapping back over itself all the way up to where you want your thorax to begin. I'm going to remove just a little bit of some excess semi there and I'll call that good. So now let's take all that flash and slinky. One thing you want to be mindful of here is at the base we want to make sure all those fibers are coming over the top and try to keep it on top as much as you can use your off hand to kind of guide those fibers a little bit get one maybe even two soft wraps over and now what we're going to do is switch that grip to our tying hand securely pull down that thread and wrap over a couple more times so now you have this brown top with this bright green body showing underneath and that's exactly what we're looking for all right so now let's get this rib here no not loving this one short piece of flash so we can just eliminate it all right so at this point let me see where my wire is and I'm going to carefully start ribbing this guy but I want to make sure I keep those flash and slinky fibers on the top of the fly so use a little offhand magic here with my thumb and my index finger and just guide those before I solidify each wrap it's a little extra step but It'll make for a neater, stronger fly, and the fish might just say thank you. All right, I'm gonna tie that wire off here. And make sure I've got plenty of room for that thoracic section. All right, bend that wire back. I'll go ahead and just trim it out there. Bend over that, that cut section with my thumb, and tie that little tag piece down. Now it can go nowhere. All right, let's get rid of our flash and slinky now. Thanks for playing. All right, not a whole lot left to this guy, but we're pretty much done. Uh, let's see here, CDC. Who doesn't love some CDC? I know I love it. The fish sure do. So, got a hairline CDC feather. As you can see, I've trimmed the tip. And that's where we're going to tie this in. I don't need a ton of length on those fibers, so this should work out just fine. I'm tying this with the convex side or the top toward the hook shank and the concave or underside toward myself. And like so. It's a little bothersome to have that in your way, but it's only for a second or two, and then it's done. Trim out that tag if you can see it. And now we're going to switch on over to some sand dab sculpin semi seal from Spawn. It's going to just give us a little bit of a darker look on that thoracic section, which the fish are used to seeing. Contrast is always good here to separate the body or abdomen from the thorax. All right, got that on our, our thread there. And we'll just dub back. I'm going to need a little bit more, but add a little at a time. Don't go crazy on this stuff or you're going to find yourself having to remove some. And that's where it gets a little, a little less than fun. All right. So now we've got a nice thorax there. And I'm not worried about the horns on this one or anything crazy. We're just going for a general shape a very buggy look and so now my thread is in front of that CDC uh, feather 
All I'm going to do is pull those fibers back toward the hook point, and then I can take a wrap or two and get a nice little collar here, and this will emulate the legs and also a bit of the wing. And it's just impressionistic enough to cause those trout to go a little silly, and that's what we like. All right, three thread wraps to solidify, one in front. Now I can safely trim out my CDC stem or quill. One more solid wrap there. We're ready for the whip finish. I'm just going to go with one whip finish today. Small bead. And if you've been following along on our socials, you know our water is getting low. Otherwise, I'd have gone with a little heavier bead on this guy. Trim that thread out. And there you have... A nice caddis pupa. It's got the green underbody. Let them recognize what they've seen a couple times before. Dark dorsal side, and they know what the deal is. One thing I do want to do is get this wet and show you that effect of the CDC, and you'll get that full on buggy pupa look. And there you have it, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this one. This is a great bug any time of the year, but especially right now and it doesn't get much buggier than that. Hope you enjoyed. If so, please hit like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the water.